Natasha and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys three of my favorite messy buns. So this is one of them and let's just get started. So for all of these hairstyles it is probably going to work better if you do it on second or third day hair just because your hair is going to have a little bit more grip, a little bit more texture. So I'm using third day hair at the moment and I haven't brushed my hair. I don't really usually brush my hair. I like quite a messy look, but if you want to brush your hair for these looks, then feel free to do so. For the first look, I'm going to be parting my hair on the side, and then I'm taking a hairbrush, and I'm just going to tease underneath the front section, slap out. Just to give my hair a little bit more volume and messiness. Parting my hair on the side, and I'm going to do a low side bun. It's really hard to talk and do this because I'm trying to like concentrate on what I'm doing, but I'll do my best. And basically what I'm going to be doing is just a bunch of messy braids into a side bun. So you can do as many as you like. I like to do them quite loose. And now I'm pulling my hair to the side and I'm going to secure it into a low bun. Now all I'm doing is taking a hair tie and securing the bun. And I'm just going to pull a few pieces out and scrunch my hair up. You can't really see my braids. I probably should have done them a little bit higher up, so keep that in mind when you're doing yours. And that's the final look. Okay, this next look is my go-to up messy bun. I think I've actually put this in a video before, but I'm just going to do it again because I really like this bun. So all you have to do is flip your hair back. I'm going to tease it a tiny bit more because I want quite a bit of volume at the front of my hair. Then all I'm doing is taking the same hair tie I used before and pulling my hair up into like a messy ponytail. And then I'm going to secure my hair. Sorry if you guys can't see. But on the last loop, if that makes sense, instead of pulling it all the way through, I'm just going to pull it half the way through. Once you get this thing, tighten it and pull bits out at the front. And I find that if you just keep tightening it and pulling bits out at the front, that's what works best. Does anyone else get these things at the back of their hair? <laughs> and now... <laughs> What you want to do is take this half bun thing and basically just twist it around until you get the bun that you want. And the thing I really like about putting a hair tie in first and then putting the bun up is that if you have really long thick hair like me, it tends to last all day. Whereas I find with a lot of other buns, they will fall out after about an hour or so. So I'm making another hair tie and I'm going to tie my hair up. I probably would use bobby pins for this, but I assumed my sister would have any and she did. I found one in the house. I do have one bobby pin so I'm going to use that. And then again all you want to do is loosen it up until you get the look that you want. I'm going to pull a few bits out to make it look more messy. So after playing around a little bit this with the bun I decided that I liked the most. Um, I'm just going to take a few pieces out from the front and pull them out. Ew what is this? <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> And that is the second finished bun. Okay, moving on to the final bun. This one's basically like a half up, half down bun, which I like because I quite like wearing my hair out. So all I'm going to do for this one is pull my hair up, section it off at my temples and pull it up into a high ponytail. And you can take as much or as little hair as you like. I like to do it so you can't really see my ears. I decided that I didn't have enough hair in my bun, so I'm gonna put it up again. Again, when you're pulling your hair up, try to make sure the front of your hair has a little bit of volume, just so it doesn't look so flat. Um, it's gonna look a lot more effortless that way. And I'm just taking a hair tie again and securing that around to the base of the bun. I'm pulling it out so it's nice and loose. Taking my one bobby pin, I'm putting my bun into place. And like the other buns, I'm just going to pull a bit of hair out at the front. And that is the finished final look. I think I like this one the best. Great. Thanks. So that's it 
for the video guys I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and all of my social media will be linked in the description box down below as per usual I will see you in my next video bye